Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we're playing as everyone's favorite historical nation that likes to be at peace usually, sometimes a Swiss, but I left the game on historical for this campaign, but we're not going to go completely historical, we'll go pretty historical, we're going to be neutral for most of the time, but we've got to talk about Swiss guy in principle. The Swiss Confederation stands as the oldest democracy in the continent, but the precipitous pace of change in Europe is putting this at risk. Should we continue this course laid by the Eidgenossenschaft and the Constitution of 1848 or will a new path reveal itself to us? National Defense Fund. The defense of the country requires more than sweat and oil. Or so toil, not oil. We'll also need funds for importing uh, equipment and the raw materials needed to prepare for the worst. Establishing and promoting a fund where the Swiss citizens can contribute voluntarily allows to offset any military budget increase. And it puts on display the Swiss participatory attitude. Swiss guiding principles. The political situation inside and around the Swiss Confederation is deteriorating quickly. The growing movement advocating for guiding principles is through the ship in the right direction during the impending storm, but the question is which one? We don't know what enables will do, but we must decide now what we'll do over the course of action. Which will maybe allow Switzerland to survive. So we're going to go down this way. This is the right of the Strong Council range. But I have done in the test recording Got Hodboon, which we might go again sometime. I did press for book, but we did do preempt Anschluss. Really, for this round, we're going to stay democratic. Where we will be doing um, closer democratic ties. So, like last time, neutrality is untenable. Um, perhaps we should be more active about protecting our democracy. Um, balance of power. Protect our democratic va values or stuff like that. Uh, so right now we are we have 150 political power. Nice. Uh, we are full cantonal power. We are going to need to go to probably over here. Um, federal council becomes the Democratic Party. Full council control. So right now cantons. Oh whoops! I chose the wrong one. God dang it! Of course I would choose the wrong one. I'll do go back into that one. But increased defense budget, luckily red. Um, while we did manage to maintain neutrality and sovereignty in the Great War, we can't rest on our laurels. There's a real possibility one of the great powers of France will invade our country to circumvent the fortifications built between them. And our current budget will not be enough to prevent this, unfortunately. Reaffirm spiritual defense. Our confederation has been committed to the defense of Swiss nation and national values since 1932 in response to the growing threat of authoritarianism around it. Now more than ever, that menace looms large, so we must renew our pledge to defend our way of life physically and spiritually. And we've got to do at least one of these. So we'll probably do fortify the border with Germany. The German Reich poses an existential threat to the survival of the Swiss Confederation. The war broke up between us and the, or at least the German Reich and the French. The Germans might pass through Switzerland instead of the heavily fortified border with France, or through the Netherlands and Belgium. We can build fortifications between our countries to deter the German Reich and armed neutrality might not be bad to do past the spirit. You get more political power, which is nice. Um yeah, it's not bad. Bad foreign Nazi propaganda. We cannot lose a vehicle for propaganda. For propaganda stamp. Nazism goes against every single value that defines the Swiss Federation. For this reason, cannot be tolerated in the country building democracy and tolerance like ours. Lest we risk them being used to destroy us from the inside. And our neutrality. Our long standing neutrality is an integral part of the Swiss identity. But neutrality alone cannot guarantee our sovereignty. After all, how much should it help the Belgians, the Belgians in the Great War? The best turn is a whole nation ready to take up arms and fight against the invader. We cannot let our neighbors know that we're trying to gather intelligence on them, so uh, we got to rely on semi-independent intelligence agencies to take on our covert operations. That's where the photography businessman turned spy master Hans Hausemann comes in with a small and nimble intelligence office. He can do work that needs to be done without getting our hands too dirty. So now we can do Allied Gold. The maelstrom and sanctions that envelop, uh, my bad, um, uh, current affairs have made gold trade more limited and, of course, difficult. But with our neutral stance, we can open the possibility for increased gold trade with other democratic nations, propping up democratic economies to keep fascismus at bay. But pro Helvetia. The spiritual defense of Switzerland requires that Swiss culture remain singular, indivisible, and distinct from our neighbors. This new organization, pro Helvetia, will preserve and promote our heart shared Swiss values. Deeply tied to our democracy, ensure our survival against hope, uh, overwhelming for forces. So we get more political power, better consumer use factories. Um, and let's just uh, need to activate citizens militia is lower by 15, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm not gonna demobilize. Also, we are uh, slowly trying to improve like um, opinion, everyone's opinion of us. So we'll get there. We're still partially mobilized. If we lose five percent stability. I don't really care. Um, we still have Albert Maya, Sally Maya, and Johannes Baumann, which is pretty good overall. Slowly going back up, which is nice. And we'll get this done. Nice. Um, anything here really needed? Mobile Warfare is probably not the best one for us. I'm not sure why we have that, but, you know, sometimes I've learned to not ask questions and know my place, so... Bad for support, because I love it way too much now. Hausman. Rudolf Rosler. Rudolf, yes, Rudolf. Um, so I'll probably go with clear democratic ties. Well, we guys just gotta wait a little bit more. We need more, 80, more than 80% support for the Federal Assembly. Fighter and close air support from these guys, 75%. Uh, we just need to keep waiting for this as well. Um, counts. Everyone be appeased? Okay. Make a jump. Cantonal defense. 
Command power. We got the PP4 at once. Well, so it takes a little bit of time. It's fine. Whatever. Because uh, after that, Patriotic Shooting Club sounds like a good thing to do next. Switzerland has a long standing tradition of sharpshooting club and competitions. Some of our recreational sharpshooters are more skilled than others nation, na other nations' snipers, professional ones at that. We can leverage these clubs and integrate them into our militias to improve our defensive capabilities, which increases maximum readiness. Uh, readiness, decreases minimum readiness to activate the militia, so I'm kind of okay with that overall. Um, we just need more guns and stuff like that. Uh, open banks and Democratic Nations? Oh, heck yeah. They should allow us, yeah. This means they'll store the gold reserves alongside us, allowing uh, them to buy and sell gold freely without having to worry about embargoes. They're not the only ones who'll stand to gain from this, as the influx of money will help our struggling economy could even be used as a bargaining chip in the future. Oh, you betcha. Chet, you betcha. Trucks and artillery pieces? Oh, what's not to love? Good, good, good. Um, so we, we really do need more guns so we can get this. 15 is not great, but we did improve the militia by like a couple few. So we do need more PP now. Deploy them, which we're not going to do. Uh, at least not for a while. Publicly denounce anybody? Probably, honestly, not. 13 is not great, which we can improve it more, but we'll get there as well. So not super concerned about it right now. And after shooting clubs, I love shooting clubs. Frontier defense plan. Now, last time I played Switzerland, I did promote Henri Guisson, which sounds like a lot of fun. But I might go with Frontier defense plan, just so that we get more training time and whatnot. So, if we let them into our borders, the Swiss Confederation is as good as dead. We're going to give them even one inch of territory. Our borders are sacred, that's why we must fortify our borders and be prepared to defend them and support allies. It's best espionage. The fact that we maintain a neutral foreign policy does prevent us from adversely supporting other democratic nations in their efforts to suppress fascism in Europe. In fact, our neutrality and uh, proximity to the German Reich makes us more vital in the international fight against fascism. Purchase the American plane. Our Air Force lacks the necessary numbers and technology to defend ourselves effectively, so we must look elsewhere to procure our equipment. If we're going to buy planes from another nation, the United States, with a tradition, tradition democracy, relative neutrality, and outstanding aeronautic engineering is the ideal candidate and close to democratic ties. As autocracy casts its shadow over Europe, we might not be able to defend it for ourselves, but by collaborating with other democratic nations, we might be able to stop its advance. First step, we'll be seeking closer ties with them, proving to them we can contribute to the cause. 30? Oh, yes, please. Because I, I still want to broaden them and stuff like that, so. Concessions, more trade. We're going to do this first and then do the more trade stuff, so. Uh, Marco Polo Bridge Incident, that's fine. Patriarch Shooting Clubs are fun, 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 fun. Frontier Defense Plan, I do want to do that one quite a bit. Because I don't get the army XP, so we can get some more army XP anyway, so. That'll be pretty good to do. Um, so we do those. All adults training. Uh -huh. Fight until the death. Well, do we need that immediately? Not really. Action National Widerstand. Um, triple population, resistance strikers in our states, daily democracy, sports not bad. Train Swiss women, I love Swiss women. Hmm. Anyways. Um, this one might hurt a little, a little bit more going that way. Ban a national movement for Switzerland. Oh. Oh. Oh, on the Canton side. Okay. Okay, so that's fine. Whatever. Oh, uh, we'll do, uh, oh, 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 first one out. And then, extend spy networks. Not bad. Share intelligence operatives. Um, I would like to get more. Ooh, level 8 land fort. Add 8 land fort. Does that mean add 8 or just... Like, add eight more in total? Or does it set it at eight? That's a good question. American industrial investments. The Great War made it clear that the American industrial might can turn any side, any tide in their favor. If we approach them and manage to secure industrial investments from them, we can bolster our own position and make sure that defending our independence is on, the best, is on their best interest. Expand, expand spy networks. The enemies out there, we must reach out in order to defend our borders and the home front before the danger arrives. Our espionage network can be the base of a defense that still looks neutral and inoffensive from the outside. Also, additionally, I'm going to make sure the Germans do go to war with this campaign, but still, share spy networks. France, whose goal is the same as ours, to keep fascism at bay. And we don't need to antagonize the German Reich to achieve it. Switzerland has access to experienced operatives that can blend themselves into German, Italian, and French societies. We can lend that edge to France. And Action Nationale Widerstand. There's a small group of civilians in every part of Swiss society who are willing to secretly cooperate in order to influence the population. Their goals are to fight defeatism, inspire unity, lay the groundwork for resistance, and Switzerland fight until death. death. The odds are against us. Switzerland is outnumbered and underprepared for what is coming. So every Swiss citizen must be ready to give their life for the canton of the confederation. Total defense. Total war means we need total defense. If every militia is prepared and gives everything they have against the invaders, we might have a chance at survival. Um, let's see. The army position. Now, right now, I'm taking all these ones that require for the balance of power to be more than zero on the canton side. Just so that when we do go to the left side, we are ready for all the stuff that happens. The army position. We'll position our citizens, militias, and standing army in the borders of Switzerland so they'll need fortifications to enhance their ability to keep interlopers at bay. Which is pretty good overall. Um, so where do they say they're going to make Eastern Swiss Alps? 
Pantino. Um, it just makes it easier if we just, like, we could max force it out, well, maybe a little bit later. Um, and I'll integrate the refugees into the army. Expand military support. Oh, which wouldn't be bad. Increases military readiness by 60. And you get a military factory. Or prolonged service, and you get mission, time out for mission, systems much decrease, or increase by 20. And has training. You get more military readiness, increase maximum <clears throat> military readiness, and you get more unit templates, so. I just want another military factory, which we, we can't get any more military factories, though. That'd be really nice again. We can always go ahead and do more of this anyways. Uh, integrate the refugees into the army. As an oasis of peace and democracy amidst an ocean of fascism and war, many flock to Switzerland in search of a safe haven. Some of them hope to join the efforts to defeat those who force them to escape their homelands, and many are even professional soldiers. We can let them join the fight for Switzerland and for a better future. Um, military training. Uh, the Germans really don't like us, but that's alright. We keep doing compromise with the cantons. Cantons? Cantons? Uh, but, you know, I'm okay with this, and we do get some more political power. We're at what level right now? We're at 17, which is not bad. Going to do that one more time. And we have strong cantonal power, just so we can maximize what we have here right now. Uh, 38, why not? And, not bad overall. Grab this one, too. I'm not sure which land auction we should go down. I'm thinking grand battle plan, just to be fun. Just to have for fun. Publicly appease, publicly denounce appease people. Well, I'm not here to appease them. They're here to appease us. Swiss Democratic Tradition, Renite Guiding Principles. Eh, overall, not bad. Still 85%, which is pretty good, though. Integrate refugees into the army. Give us some manpower, which I'm not super concerned about, but the expanded military support when we can't make any more military factories. I, I like a lot, a lot, so. Expand military support. Our militia force is not composed of only soldiers, and many other roles are needed for them to function as a well oiled machine. We need to recruit, train, and spy support companies for our militia if we want to succeed in defending Switzerland, of course. Uh, we also did this one too. I want to hear in house. Switzerland's people, and therefore its armies, need to be encouraged from within to resist and fight for the defense of their homeland. In order to be reminded of what's at stake, Pro Helvetia, with the help of the Action Nationale Widerstand group, are key for them to think and act Swiss. This would be good to do as well over there. Our computer machine's nice. Uh, field hospital, so before I forget. Um, so yeah, that'd be good. Yellow River blown. Kaboom. Ban national movement for Switzerland. Seek allied trade. Um, yeah, just to the right. I'm gonna do a lot of the stuff before we do all the stuff over here. Fascists, just like, just like cockroaches. Have the tendency of hiding in nooks and crannies of society, feeding under negligence in order to gain strength until it's too late to oppose them. No more. The new look and the name will not fool us. We must strike decisively if we're to preserve our democracy. Uh, that wouldn't be bad with cantons. Um, strength of swimming here in house would be good. I just want to get all this stuff done before we have to do anything else. Anti air. Spirit of resistance is very good too. Uh, I do want spirit of St. Bernard, though. I love the doggies. Since time of memorial, we have prided ourselves with our medical tradition and our willingness to help people in need. The great St. Bernard Hospice and the Red Cross organization are a testament to that. Now that spirit can be weaponized and reoriented to the militias in order to better bolster our defense efforts. Spirit of the hospital trickle back plus 50%, better XP, loss factor, and it just, you know, add, adds it to itself. That's really good. Ostwerden? Total war means every Swiss citizen must be ready to defend the canton, but not everyone is able to join our militias. We can establish local guards to serve as back backbone. The militias can rely on and support them in their efforts to defend Switzerland. Luftschutz. War has changed. The air is a new realm of warfare, and we cannot let it become our Achilles' heel. Local air defense forces must be set up, manned by civilians, and provided with the tools to detect and deal with airborne threats. There's no point in defending the mountain if they, can't, if they can go above the mountains. The spirit of resistance. The hearts and minds of the people of Switzerland is the most important front in the battle for our survival. I wasn't sure our Swiss citizens are ready to fight until the end, even when all seems lost. Fortify the Austrian border. Now that the Austria is in the hands of a potential enemy, we cannot risk having an open flank that the enemy can take advantage of in case of war. Same as with the border with Germany, we must fortify this front, case north. What can I rule at war against the German Reich? We need to be ready for it. Plans need to be drafted, supplies have to be allocated, trenches dug, and armed soldiers uh, armed. Seek ally trade. With enemies all around us, we need to secure vital trade with us allies to survive. If we're lucky enough, we can avoid invoking the ire of our other neighbors for seeing close ties with our rivals. I'll drop the Rumish language. Switzerland is not a country formed by German, French, and Italian regions meant to be claimed by our greedy neighbors. Switzerland is a single, indivisible, multicultural nation, adopting Rum Rumanch. Our language only spoken in the mountains of our Swiss Alps will show them our culture and values are different and distinct from theirs, regardless of language. Train Swiss women. I want to defend our country tooth and nail. Look at that. It would be absurd to exclude half our population from our efforts. Swiss women should be trained to join the fight for our survival. Balance power to the left. Freeze German assets has to be left. So now, after this one with Seek Allied Trade and the woman one, 
and adopting this one too. Um, once we get those three done, then we can start going with the left side and then really start getting involved a lot more, hopefully, in world conflicts. I apologize that we're not really getting involved in the world conflicts now, but we will very soon uh, once we get all those focuses done as well. We're trying to get some nuclear technology because who does not love a nuclear Switzerland? Um, clear democratic test, which I read earlier. Connect to the Maginot Line. Well, we'll see. The winds of war are blowing in the direction of Free France, and there's a good chance our enemies will have to attack the so-called Maginot Line. This puts us in a dangerous situation as Germany might be tempted to circumvent it by invading us. That's why we must coordinate with the Free French and create a united front. Mass Maginot Line, huh? Take a stance. Fascist Germany possesses the most disgusting and miserable political system. The German Reich is a mortal enemy of the new Switzerland. That's why we must make our stand defend our democracy by any means. Remove Swiss neutrality. When the focus axis gold is completed, and at least one fascist country is spared using Switzerland to gold, seize gold of fascist nations. Ooh. And we'll figure out whether we want to join France, which we probably won't. Join the alliance, maybe. And secret pact with the Allies? We might do that as well, but we'll see as time goes on. Freeze German assets. For years, the German Reich has used their neutrality and loopholes in their banking system to safeguard their ill-gotten riches and keep their economy afloat. Moral duty ought to take precedence over absolute neutrality, even if we're certain this will have repercussions. Uh, let's go and train Swiss women for now. And, because we, my god, we really need it. Uh, fund resistance groups. European nations have fought amongst each other and subjugated people on every other continent for centuries now. It's the duty of the Swiss people to help the victims of our continent's unrelenting wars by giving them the tools to break their shackles and determine their own future. Fortify the border with Italy. Italian expansionist ambitions could spill over to Switzerland at any moment. After all, a significant part of our population is Italian speaking, and it would all it would take was a speech from Benito Mussolini, and Switzerland would be in their sights. We must show them that we're not an easy target. Federal Police Intelligence Department. If we follow to defend Switzerland from external enemies, to only let us succumb to eternal ones. We must empower the federal police to root out possible uh, threats inside our borders and defend against foreign elements in our soil. Purchase German planes? Maybe, we'll see. With an outdated air force, and lacking the industry and technology to produce aircraft in any significant amounts, we're forced to rely on purchasing them from our neighbors. Buying the planes we need from the rival will not only provide us with the equipment we need, but also help we'll keep ourselves on the good side, on their good side. But, I think that's all we have time for today. Um, I'm going to continue making sure that we can do well in, in our preparations for going to war with that good old German Reich. But if you enjoyed the video, though, uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when the Germans are going to go to war with the Soviets, and we'll see what happens between us and the Axis. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.